Stormaldo, 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 Stormaldo. Right, is that how you say it? Until you quit smiling and leave behind. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so the first thing that I really want to talk to you guys about is finally she came into my mailbox. Like literally she arrived today. This is a problem with living on the other side of the world. Every time Kylie launches something, when I do buy it, it doesn't come until like three weeks later. I know. As soon as it arrives and I want to film like a review video or like an Instagram video on it, I don't know. I just feel like like, do people still care? Like, even though it's three weeks old, do people still, like, want to get this collection? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Yeah, I feel like the makeup industry is so fast-paced. It's really hard for beauty gurus to keep up. So I kind of just want to review it anyway for you guys because I did, and I don't know how I did this, but I accidentally bought two. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. But, um, yeah, one of them is going to be a giveaway. So make sure you guys keep watching this video, and I'll let you know how to enter that giveaway. Give me the <laughs> Give me that watch time. I'm working really hard on my YouTube channel. <laughs> but before I start with the tutorial, I really want to talk to you guys about a few things that's just been on my mind. Nothing negative, it's all positive. So I won't be able to upload this Sunday and next week, Wednesday. I'm going to LA for a really big event and it's probably the biggest event I have ever been invited to. And it's just so crazy because where I'm going and why I'm going, it's really close to my heart. So I don't want to say where I'm going or why I'm going. Not just yet, I will be filming a vlog for you guys which will go live next not, is it next week Sunday? Is it next week Sunday? Um, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Basically, the next video that will be uploaded on my YouTube channel will be my vlog. And yeah, I cannot wait to show you guys the process of what I'm doing, <laughs> basically. Another thing that I want to say is I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched my previous video. I didn't expect my eyeshadow declutter palette draw thingy mabob. I did not expect that video to get so many like positive responses. I just want to say, you know, thank you to everyone who tuned in and listened to everything that I was saying like to the people who left comments about yes the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Bloodlust palette is still available thank you so much for letting me know because I didn't know that it was available on other websites like I've never heard of Beautylish and I've never heard of Black Swallow either so thank you so much to you guys for just listening to me and for yeah advising me like it just I don't know, it just really means a lot to me and I know makeup is not a big deal to some people but to me it helps us bring us closer and because of makeup it's created such a positive community and yeah I'm just so like blessed to be a part of it and to meet you guys and to have you guys have my back as well. Just the little things like that just makes me feel so grateful. Okay so that is the announcements that I have to make and let's get in with the tutorial. So this is the box that it comes in, just to let you guys know this is not PR, I bought this out of my own heart money and this is how it looks it definitely comes in more like bubble wrappy type of stuff i don't even know what this is like a sponge so that's why i call it bubble wrap even though i know it's not bubble wrap it's really pretty i love it straight away i love the packaging i mean come on that is just so beautiful the name stormy is like got glitter on there so it's really pretty now if you do live in the uk or if you live out of the states you do have to pay customs and the customs that i had to pay was 40 pounds so even though the collection was about 100 dollars which is equivalent to about I think 90 pounds um 40 pounds custom so altogether I spent 130 pounds on this whole entire collection I know that's a lot of money for just this amount of makeup because you can definitely get a full face from 130 pounds it is quite pricey this collection but I wanted to get because I just thought the collection was just so beautiful and I just I don't know I felt like it was very me like this is the type of packaging that I live for if I had the money and if I could make a makeup brand this is the type of aesthetics I would go for just something really pretty and cute. Love the marketing as well behind it. I love all the images that Kylie created, especially with the one with Stormy, where Stormy put the lip gloss on her. I died. So when you open up that eyeshadow palette inside, there's also butterflies in there as well. And then when you open it up, this is how it looks. Again, with the stormy sign, it is 3D feeling. It's got a bit of texture on there. Ooh. And here is the palette, guys. She's so pretty. This whole entire collection is very personal to Kylie. Like, you can just tell from, like, every little detail. Like, Butterfly Babe, Perfect Storm, 443, Angel on Earth, Stormy Weather, Love You Without Limits. 
like everything is just so cute and I don't know it makes this whole entire collection extra special and even though I'm in no relations to the Jenners but I don't know as a customer I feel like it's just nice to be a part of this collection you know I have a little bit of Kylie and Stormy you know what I mean anybody who's like a Kardashian Jenner fan you know what I'm talking about so I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches for you guys so the first swatch is 443 and this felt so nice oh my god very very buttery very pretty as well next one is butterfly babe 443 is a little bit more pigmented and it's definitely a bit more powdery compared to butterfly babe butterfly babe is a little bit more pressed down and not so textured perfect storm is a nice matte wow that's a good matte you can just tell as soon as you swatch it and there's pigment straight away yeah that's a really good one same with angel on earth for pastel color that's a really good pigment like even though how it looks in person it looks better than on camera which is really annoying because i spent so much money on my lens and my camera but like i don't know why at the top here it looks like it's faded it's not it's like the same color all the way around oh here you go if i just put this over because it's a bit um a bit too much light so i need to put a bit of shadow over the shadows <laughs> shadow over the shadows what the hell am i even making any sense i don't know but this is how it really looks in person next one is stormy weather and it's a beautiful dark gold. Oh yes, that's cute. Next shade is Love Without Limits. Oh, oh my god, that was a nice sexy swatch. What I've just noticed just now is that Stormy World and Butterfly Babe are different to Stormy Weather and 443. Stormy Weather and 443 kind of feels more textury, more almost like um not crumbly, but it's got that type of like texture where it's really pigmented, but there's also fallout as well. Butterfly Babe and Stormy World, there's no fallout. Oh, that's nice. That is really, really cute. Next one is Baby Girl, which is a really nice matte again. So soft, so buttery. And the last one is Forever Thing, which is quite a unique color. And this is all the swatches. I feel like this is probably the best eyeshadow swatches I have done in the longest time ever. Like I can't remember the last time I swatched an eyeshadow palette and every single shadow was good. So, so far, this is like, yeah, thumbs up in terms of swatches. So now I'm gonna go ahead and play around with it. And I don't know what type of eyeshadow to create, so hopefully you guys like what I create in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer to help conceal and prime my eyelids. I love to use this as an eyeshadow base. And I'm using the Sigma Precision Round P82 brush. And then what's so good about this concealer is that I don't need to use a powder to set it because it sets matte already. So that just helps me like skip a step. And also I don't like to put too much like powder and crap on my eyelids before I apply any eyeshadow on. So that's why I love the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I'm going to use my Morphe brush. Now this is from the newest collection, um, the one that Twee and Kaylee did. So this is like the brush collection so I'll leave a link down below in the description box just in case you guys are looking for a new eyeshadow brush set. Use her link as well in case you want to save some money. I'm going to use the shade Perfect Storm first. I'm just going to dip into here. Wow, look at that big man. Ooh! So this is more of a taupey type of color. Now I know taupey colors isn't for everyone, but I feel like with the color story that Kylie's going for in this palette, I definitely think a taupe would definitely go well with like the peachy and the purple tones in there. I would have definitely loved to see more of a, more like a, like an orangey color rather than peach. I feel like that'd be really nice in this eyeshadow palette, but other than that, um, I think the color story is pretty cute. I'm now gonna go in and use the Spectrum A08 brush and gonna dip into to Angel on Earth, which is the peachy shade. Ooh, this is a really nice combination. I like it. Oh my God, it's so cute. Now, in terms of the quality of the eyeshadows, it's definitely blending really, really well. No problems at all. No patchiness, no dryness, not so much full either, guys. Like so far, everything is like really good. Another thing that I've noticed about this collection is that it's definitely a collectibles collection. So anybody who's like a massive fan of just makeup in general, and they really love the Jenners and the Kardashians. Like I'm such a huge fan of them. It's actually unhealthy. I'm not joking, guys. Like I literally wear hooped earrings because of Khloe Kardashian. Like I saw her wearing hooped earrings and I was like, I want to get a pair of hoops earrings. <laughs> so crazy how they're so influential on us. Well, on me anyway. Okay, I really like how it's looking so far. I am loving it. Here's my eyeshadow. 
close up and personal. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use the Spectrum A12 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Love Without Limits, which I feel like is a really good purple. It's so hard to find a good purple eyeshadow that doesn't like go all patchy. So Love Without Limits, it is flying okay. It definitely swatched a little bit better, but this is definitely the type of shadow that needs a little bit of building up but I'm not mad though like it could definitely look worse because I've worked with way worse purple eyeshadows. I'm just gonna dip into the BO6 brush by Spectrum. Love this brush so much because it's really fluffy and it's able to like blend everything. Okay this is definitely going way more smokier than I thought. Wow. Love Without Limits has a lot of Full, just to let you guys know and if you're a little messy like me definitely do your eye makeup before putting on base makeup and that's what I should have done today <laughs> I'm just gonna use my hourglass brush I have been obsessed with this brush recently because it's double-sided I'm just gonna use the smaller side just to like slowly dust off the excess fallout from the shadow and then with the beauty blender that I used earlier to help blend my foundation concealer I'm just gonna like go over where there was fallout so you can't see any bits of shadow on there. This looks a little crazy, but trust the process. I'm gonna go ahead and apply Butterfly Bay because I feel this will look so good, like near the inner corners of the eyes. Hold up, what is going on? Where's the shimmer? Wow, okay, I think I need setting spray. Gonna use the Morphe Times Jeffree Star setting spray, which again, I'm obsessed with this as well, especially when you wear a lot of powder and you wanna get rid of that powdery matte look, that really helps bring the skin back to life. I'm just gonna go back into Butterfly Babe. That's really annoying how it's swatched really well, but it's not applying how I want it to apply. Here you go, that's what you need. It is revived, finally. So much better, yes. So Butterfly Babe, it's a shimmer, but it's not too glittery. This is how it looks, close up. It's okay, it's not my favorite. I'm gonna dip into 443, which is much more chunkier compared to Butterfly Babe. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that in the center of my eyelids. That is nice, I really like that. Ooh, ooh look at that, it's like a foil. It's really cute, I really like this one. No, do you know what? I really like the fact that this palette has a variety of different shimmers. You got Butterfly Babe and Stormy World, which is like, you know, not too textured, not too glittery, not too in your face, which is nice for people who aren't into the super glittery, high pigmentation eyeshadow looks, you know, like me, I'm all about glitter, 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 and all about showing off my eye makeup. So I really like the fact that there is a different variety of shadows and textures in here. I'm just using the mask concealer brush. Brush. And even though it's a concealer brush, I really need something small and stiff to <laughs> help blend the shadow. I really want to put Stormy Weather on, and I think I might put it. I think I might put it on top of Butterfly Babe, just on like the lash line, maybe. I feel like okay, so I just picked up two different brushes, and I feel like Stormy Weather is better off applied with a finger because it's just not applying how I want it to apply. There you go. That is so much better. Can you guys see the difference? Brush and finger. Hello. I went off camera to go ahead and do my eyeliner and lashes off camera just to save some time. If you guys are interested in knowing how to cheap an eyeliner. Just like me, I'll leave a link up here or up here. I don't know what side it's on because I'm filming. I think it's on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom liner now. I'm gonna use this brush. I am obsessed with little tiny brushes like this. Like, look how small that is. It's so good for buffing out your lower lash line. This is the Makeup Addiction Precision Shade Up. Really love it. I think I'm gonna use the shade Forever Thing, which is the dark grayish shadow. That does not look pretty, but I I'm going to fix it and save it with another shadow. I honestly just wanted to put this on because I wanted to see how it looked. Okay, that's not pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Love Without Limits. I feel like this will really help complete the whole look. Holy moly, and it's blending and applying so well. Look at that, guys. Oh my God, I am in love. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty eyeshadow brushes. I just picked up a tiny, teeny, weeny, weeny bit of of Love Without Limits just to help blend out the lower lash line just so it looks a little bit more diffused. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty pencil liner on the water lines. Now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go in and play around with the blusher now. I'm not gonna put any bronzer or contour on just so you guys can really see what the blusher looks like on top of my foundation and concealer. Oh my God, this is my first ever Kylie blusher. 
So this is how the blusher looks. I don't think this is gonna come up on my skin tone. I really hope it does. I'm going to use the Real Technique brush. Like, look how cool this brush is. It is so fancy. I love these type of brushes. And in order to apply it, all you gotta do is just like, kind of just do this. Cause I know some people, when they first see this brush, they're a bit like, how do you use this? You honestly just apply it like that. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this on. What? No! Oh my god, no, 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 no. I really want this blusher to work for me. I mean, it kind of is in a weird way. I really wish Kylie did like more than one blusher for this collection because like, I just feel like these colors are so light and I don't know. I just feel like someone who's like a little bit more like browner, tan, like mm, I would appreciate it if there was just a little bit more options. I really have to like pile on the blusher in order for the blusher to see, but it is a really pretty blusher. It's more on the pinky kind of fuchsia side for me. I don't know why because it looks so muted on the palette and there's nothing on this brush as well like this brush is clean. I feel like if I was to use this blush in the future I feel like I would like it more but if I have a tan I know I won't be able to use this blusher. Considering I don't have any like bronzer or contour on just the blusher by itself it looks really pretty. I'm gonna move on to the lips now. Oh my god they're so tiny. I didn't think this would be so tiny. I thought it was gonna be full sizes Kylie liquid lipsticks. Okay, that like literally took me by surprise. Wow. So this is the shade Stormy. I like it. It's quite peachy. I definitely would wear darker lip liner because I feel like this lip liner is more on the gray undertone side. And I feel like this liquid lipstick is really nice. It's got that traditional Kylie smell. You know, that very like strong vanilla smell, almost like cake. It is really nice. I do like this shade and also feels lightweight. Doesn't feel sticky. I do like the lip liner, but I just feel like I personally wouldn't pair this lip liner with this liquid lipstick. I'm now gonna go ahead and try the shade Head in the Clouds. I definitely prefer Heads in the Clouds over the shade Stormy personally because I feel like this is a bomb purpley pinkish type of lip color and it definitely goes with my eye makeup as well. Mmm, do you know what? I haven't tried Kylie liquid lipsticks in such a long time so I kind of feel like a newbie to it. I've forgotten how quickly it dries which is such a good thing. Like I hate it when I put on a liquid lipstick and it takes like 10 minutes to dry it's like come on hurry up like i got things to do i've got places to go but yeah i just love how nice it is and also it doesn't really like sit into my lines too much as well which i really like there's no highlighter i just realized oh my god i definitely bought the bundle oh my god kylie i thought you were gonna like release a highlighter with this collection last but not least i'm gonna go in and try the shade give me butterflies love this yellow packaging oh this is a cute shade this looks like a mixture between Stormy and Heads in the Clouds, I feel like, which is really cute. Mmm, this lip shade is beautiful. Oh my god, in love. This is a really beautiful shade. Oh my god. Oh, this makes my teeth look white. Give me butterflies and heads in the clouds. Those two shades are my favorite. I feel like Stormy will look nice on me when I have a different eye makeup look. So it's really hard to judge like lip colors because it all depends on what else you're wearing on your face. But other than that, I am really happy with all of the liquid lipsticks and lip liners. The lip liners, creamy AF, literally so buttery, so nice on my lips. Kind of feels hydrating as well. Liquid lipsticks, nice again, no complaints at all really love this shade. I think this is my favorite one out of the three that I got. So here are the swatches and the comparisons, just in case you guys are wondering how they look. And also, in case I didn't say, very pigmented as well. <laughs> Last but not least, on to the lip glosses now. This is the first time I am trying Kylie lip glosses. I am so excited because I am such a lip gloss hoe. Like, I have so many lip glosses. Like, I have lip glosses upon lip glosses upon lip glosses. Anybody who's seen my makeup organization story video you guys know so i'm gonna go ahead and try this out i have two four, i have six shades in here i don't think i'll be able to swatch all of them for you guys because my lips are kind of burning right now but i will do some hand swatches which i hope you guys don't mind oh my god they're so cute look at this oh my god it's so adorable i actually cannot deal first impressions 
so cute already love it let's just hope that it applies really really well and it's hydrating as well one of the things i look for in a lip gloss is that it has to be hydrating it can't be too sticky and it has to be quite long wearing as well so this is in the shade baby love this is the don't fit applicator by the way guys so it's quite flat on both sides mm. oh and it's got that liquid lipstick smell as well that cupcake type of smell in terms of the texture it's not sticky at all it kind of feels a little bit more oily which is what i personally like i feel like lip glosses that's got that type of oily texture i really love it because it just like hydrates my lips it's really shiny as well and the smell is really nice it's not too strong not as strong compared to the liquid lipstick and it does fade as well the smell like it fades really quickly so this is the shade baby love which is i don't know it kind of looks a little bit like my lip color just like a little bit better though the next shade i'm trying is my little aquarius which is this really cute pinky purple lilac color now lip glosses aren't meant to be pigmented but i don't know i thought maybe this would be like a little bit more pigmented but it's okay though i'm not mad i like the fact that it's more on the sheer side rather than on the pigmented side because it really gives me the advantage of playing around with these and these could be literally lip toppers you definitely don't need to put a lot on in order to make your lips look really like juicy and glossy like sometimes when i put on a lip gloss i have to put loads on in order for it to look really like amp but with these you just need to put like one layer on and this is the type of lip look you'll get which i really really like oh my god i am dead this is so adorable oh my god look at these shades and the colors it's so adorable so the pink one is called sweet dreams i'm just gonna go ahead and apply every single lip gloss shade on me just because i am so curious to see how it all looks so uh give me a thumbs up because my lips are literally burning right now and they're burning because i keep wiping it off it's not because of the makeup products i just want to make that really really clear so this is sweet dreams i feel like these lip glosses kind of look all the same on my lips sweet dreams definitely look very similar to my little aquarius the next one i'm gonna try is the little sunshine this one has like iridescence of like glitter in there can you guys see like just above here so it's got like purple little glitter bits in there which is really really cute and i don't think you can see it on my lips but it is there like if you used to see me in person you'll be able to see it oh look at this shade guys hello color this is called deepest love which is such a cute name definitely suits this shade so this one has a little bit more pigment in there not my favorite i definitely need to wear like a lip liner underneath it in order to make it look a little bit more moi and also every single lip gloss that i have tried so far all feels the same last but not least we have this one over here this is so cute oh my god so this is called how do you say this oh my god stormaldo 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 right is that how you say it oh my god oh my god i'm like literally making a fool up myself right now this is a beautiful shade oh my god i just want to like put that on my lips right now look at that oh my god God, so pretty oh yes oh my god so cute this isn't as glossy as the other lip glosses when you press your lips together you can definitely feel the glitter as well so just in case you guys don't like that feeling this is how it feels i personally don't mind it also this is how all of the liquid lipsticks and lip liners look when they dry down as well really pretty i am so happy with these the lip glosses are cute definitely as a first time I'm using Kylie lip glosses I do like them I expected a little bit more pigment from them but you know what I'm not mad so that is the end of tutorial guys oh my god I really hope you enjoyed this whole entire video I hope I created a really nice eye look for you guys I feel about the stormy collection is that if you love makeup and you love the Jenners and the Kardashians then get it just get it get it because your heart says so if you are someone who's interested in the collection but you're not sure whether to buy it definitely have a think because you know this collection is not for everyone like the eyeshadow palette is not everyone's colors like purple 
apples, peach. It's just not a daily consumer's go-to eyeshadow palette, definitely not. But Kylie Cosmetics do do a lot of amazing other eyeshadow palettes as well. I do love the lip kits. I really feel like I could definitely use them on a daily basis. And the lip glosses, definitely. I'll be using them quite regularly. The blusher, I don't know. I want to love it, but I don't know. I just feel like I would have preferred it if Kylie did like a face palette. So like there was a blusher and a highlighter and maybe like another set where it's like a darker blusher with a darker highlighter. You know, I love it when I see makeup brands add a little bit more diversity into their collections. But yeah, that's just personally how I feel. Other than that, I am very, very happy with the order that I made. And if you guys are interested in knowing how to win this whole entire collection, all you gotta do is go over to my Instagram and all the information will be over there. Oh yeah. But just to give you guys a heads up, one of the requirements is subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell button. And yeah, everything else will be on my Instagram. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. Just wanna let you guys know that the next YouTube video that I am uploading, I am going to be doing a full face of drugstore and I'm going to show you guys what my favorite drugstore products are and yes everything is in this makeup bag it's from Spectrum how cool is that it's got eyeshadow palettes blusher palettes everything concealers a whole face in there so yeah I cannot wait to share with you guys my favorite drugstore products and I cannot wait to show you guys my um secret surprise vlog oh my god no yeah. <laughs> see you soon guys Mwah. bye hello my beauty Yeah, and it and a little really brick brick event. Yeah, brick event. Yeah. And why is there so many helicopters outside? Is someone dying? And he's so um um is so annoying. Wow, I'm so annoying. I can't film today. What the hell? What the hell? Come on, camera. God, this is the issues I deal with all the time in the Oh, this is awkward. Oh, I just burped into the mic. Sorry, guys. Anyway, is this dandruff? So the first I'm going to... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's happening again! <laughs> well, I can't speak. By the way, Huda Buta. Huda Buta. <laughs> what the frick? I'm gonna go <laughs> pair this Lee, Lee liner, what the hell? Ow! Oh my god, I'm so excited. When you press your lips together, you can actually feel the... When you press your lips together, you can actually feel the... God. What do I want to say? How do I want to end this? I don't know.